Welcome back on the Anglers Extra pregame show. Max Herr is on the field at Veterans Field for the Manager Show with John Schiffner. Schiff, what's on the mind? Um, nah, hopefully this is, you know, we don't get rain. That's that's on my mind. That's all. Looking not, not a lot of mine working here, you know. So, <laughs> well, that's one thought's good for this mine. It's shot, you know. It, there's a lot of bourbon walking around that mine there. there. <laughs> Looking back at yesterday's win over Brewster, what does that performance mean for Ashton McGee to get two hits for the first time this year and bring in a couple big runs? Well, it's huge. I mean, it's, it's got to be a confidence builder for him. Uh, you know, as a big base hit, it really gave us a push. To, you know, we were up three runs. It's a nice cushion to have. And uh, he's been swinging pretty well, uh, not getting a lot of breaks. So, but, but again, it, it does. You, you can say you're swinging well, but you want hits. You don't care if they're bleeders. You know, if the ball goes 12 feet and you get a base hit, you'd rather have that and his screaming line drive knock somebody's head off. So, you know, it's a big confidence builder for him. He looked good. He did make a great play at third base, too. He had a good game. Similar story for Landon Kay, whose game-winning single in the seventh inning snapped an 0 for 15 streak for him. What have you been impressed with with him since he got here, even though the hits haven't come as much? Well, he's his work ethic. And, you know, again, and, and he fits right in. Like Ashton, these guys don't let anything bother them. You know, there's very little emotion, whether we're up big or down ba badly. Uh, you know, they just go out and play the game, and those guys have fit that bill. I mean, Ashton, you know, obviously could be, you know, has to be disappointed. You never know it. You would never know it. the same thing with uh, Brandon, uh, Landon. Uh, you know, he's not showing any emotion. He's not, you know, throwing helmets, beating up the, you know, the water coolers or kicking a dog or anything like that. He's just going, okay, next chance I get, I'm going to try harder. You know, and that's what, that's what all these guys do. It's, it's been a pleasure to work with these guys. How uncommon is it for a team of players to just have each other's back like this in a summer league setting and for guys to not beat themselves up too much because the team is doing well? Well, that's that's the key, and it is it is rare uh, because you have you know kids from so many different programs with so many different philosophies, attitudes, uh, and, and for them to come together, uh, it's been it's been special for us as a coaching staff. It's a, it's a great dugout to be around. It's a great group of kids to be around. Uh, they have fun. But it's not, it, it, they're, it's, they're not taking it as a joke and they're not, you know, taking the game lightly. They're having fun and that's, you know, that's one of my three, you know, the three biggest, import, most important things for me is having fun. Dan Hammer on the mound for you tonight had another rough start against Falmouth last week. What type of psychological work do you guys have to do with a pitcher who's almost done for the year and knows that he can get back on the right track? Well, and you, you've said it right there. That's what you have to tell him. You, you know, make your, you know, locate. You got to locate. You have to locate. He has not located well the last few times out. And, you know, when, once once the other team gets that, they know it's like blood in the water for a shark. It's like they know a pitcher's not locating. They can sit back and wait for something. You know, he's going to have to throw me a strike or he's going to walk me. So it's a it's a win-win for the hitter. So it's either, you know, hammer that first pitch that comes near the strike zone or just, okay, he's not throwing me near the plate. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the walk. Dan's a good pitcher. He comes from a good program. You know, he's going to he's got to make some adjustments, and he will. And that's, you know, that, again, whatever happens, Dan's going to take the experience back to school and go, okay, I, I, I need to change some things or I need to think things differently. It, it, that's what this, this league does for you. Jeff Trundy picked up his 400th win on the Cape this week for the Falmouth Commodores. What's it been like coaching against him for nearly two decades? Absolutely just one of the nicest gentlemen you'll ever see. He's a gentleman coach, uh, treats the kids well, treats the game well, uh, just a fantastic person to be around, uh, a, a true dear friend of mine. I'm going to miss being around Jeff, and we were just talking about that, that uh, we both had our finals. You know, it's the last time I'm coming I've come there, uh, went down there, and the last time he's coming up here, and uh, I'll see him. Uh, like I said, I stay in touch with Jeff throughout the winter, and uh, you know, like I said, dear friend, and uh, just a good baseball guy, and he gets it. You know, there's so many people today that just don't get it, and and, and Jeff gets it. It's, uh, you know, uh, he's the kind of guy that you you know, he, he sees the big picture, and he wants to help other people see it too. And I, I just adore him as a friend and a colleague and uh, I mean wish him well and I hope he gets five or six hundred you know that he deserves it. he's such a good coach one other familiar face in town Matt Fincher your longtime assistant here in Chatham what does he mean to you and to this team well to this team you know they, they don't know who he is uh, unfortunately they you know some of them might meet him you know abstractly but uh, what he means to me was that he was as, as loyal as they come uh, worked his 
butt off to be, the, you know. And here's a college head coach at the time. All the years he was with me, he was a college head coach, and he's working harder than any of the kids are working, and he didn't have to do that. And that's that's his makeup, and that was such a an example to show to the kids that, you know, Schiff's a high school coach, and this, this college coach is busting his ass for us and for Schiff. And, and that's, that's I think, that puts, you know, that paints the picture of Matt Fincher, just a, a, a true baseball rat. Um, you know, and, and the teams that he coached down here were fortunate he was here. They learned from a, a true baseball person. Again, Matt Fincher gets it, you know, and that, that's what you want to surround yourself with, with people who get it. And that's why I, I consider him and guys like Jeff Trundy just dear, dear friends because it's, uh, it's a pleasure to be around people like that. Jeff, thank you. Thank you very much, Max. Uh, Chatham Anglers and the Falmouth Commodores ready for baseball at the top of the hour, hoping the rain will hold off. Back up to Drew Carter for more on the Anglers Extra pregame show.